Hello, my name is Matt, and welcome back to another Redstone video. Um, it's been a while since I've actually been in a video at all on Podcrash, so let's get things started. Basically, um, this is just something I've been messing around with in 1.7. That's all I've really been doing a lot recently, just playing around with new features in 1.7. And this was using the tell raw command, um, which came out in one of the snapshots. And I never really understood how it worked, I never really bothered, but I decided to sit down for a few hours and I finally got it cracked. So this is the first thing I came up with, it's probably already been done, but whatever. So here we've got our friend Bobby, and we're going to stand at this pressure plate to talk to him. So there we go, he says, hey, how may I help you? And then there's two options, and you can cl and you click them in the chat. Um, we'll go with option B first and just say I have to go. So he says farewell. Um, that's, yeah, I'm using a scoreboard for it. I assume if I'm not an op, you won't be able to see that, so it'll be more clean. But anyway, he says bye, we'll step on it again. Get him to talk, and we'll click option A this time. And then he comes up with some more stuff. So he's currently giving away three iron swords. So you can either say I would love one, ask him if he's got anything else, or maybe later I need to go. Again, if I click option C, it'll say farewell and that'll end the conversation. So we'll go back onto option A again. And we'll go with option A. Um, again, I would love one of your fine iron swords. So we click that. So he says certainly, gives you the sword, and then says goodbye. And there you go, you've got a free iron sword. We'll try option B this time, so first option A, and then we'll say anything else, and then he says, oh, he's got some weird blue stone as well, if I want that, I can either say yes or no, option B just says goodbye again, so we'll click option A, and he, we were given a pointless blue rock by Bobby, and I believe that went into my inventory, yeah, okay, so there are my pointless blue rocks. Um, so yeah, um, the way this works is it uses a scoreboard, there's only one command block under here, I'm basically using an objective called chat and it sets my score to 1. Now if we come over here, this is the redstone that is used in it. Ignore all that for now, that was an old attempt that I tried. And it's actually a lot simpler than it looks. Really it's not that bad. This block here is again, that was my test one. That's exactly the same as the one over there, so we don't even need that. And let's just get rid of all those. There we go. Now what we have here, we've got a clock testing all of these blocks. Now in these, this one is testing for a score of 6, so if my score is 6, this will trigger, this one is 5, this one's 4, this one's 3, 2 and 1. So when you um, stand on the pressure plate, it'll give me a score of 1, this will fire, so this will activate. Now the reason it's like, the reason the blocks are up here is because if the command blocks were in this section here, powering this one would also power that one as well, whereas with this in this setup it powers the stone block which powers only one command block so that was just for making it more compact or making it look neater you could zigzag it but anyway ignore all that um, so when you get this um, test 4 command it fires it says this one first now this is a big tell raw command that says hi uh, that makes him say hello how may I help you that's the very first one um, the hello how may I help you one so that's what that one does then this one gives option A um, saying what do you have for sale and and then also as well it sets the it fires a command and that sets my chat score to 2 as you can see there if you click option A and then this one saying I have to go if you look back here it sets my chat if we just go right back to the start it fires a command that sets my score to 6 so it fires this one over here and this is the one saying farewell friend and then it sets my score back to 0 again so that's the very first bit. So if you do click option A, it sets your score to 2. So this then turns off, and this one turns on. And then this is the next part of the conversation. And then, yeah, every single part of the conversation it relates to one of these lines here. So it's a very compact way of doing it. It's a very neat way of doing it. You can just put this underneath the building where your NPC is. And it's not actually that hard to do yourself. The only, the only like, I'd say, confusing bits might possibly be the tell raw command. Um, but I might do a video on that in the future and explain how this is done because it took me a while to figure out with all the different types of brackets and things but I got there with it and so if anyone wants a tutorial on how to use them um, let me know in the comments but other than that um, quite a short video not much else to show really but it's a pretty cool thing we're probably going to use this in an adventure map at some point but other than that I'll see you in the next video guys